services for hosting this session and for inviting me uh, to meet with you all uh, virtually this morning. And uh, I'm uh, greeting you from my home in St. Catharines, Ontario, which is in the Niagara region, uh, the southern part of Ontario. And I will show you a map in a little bit so you can see where that is. Uh, so I'm going to start with a presentation on the college and then as Amandeep said, we'll go into some Q&A and I'm happy to answer any of your queries that you have about the college uh, or about the Niagara region or Canada itself. So uh, Niagara College Canada is located, as I mentioned, in the southern part of Ontario. Uh, we're one of 24 community colleges in the province. Um, and really our goal at Niagara College is to enrich lives and fulfill dreams. And uh, we know that that's really the the important thing in order for us to achieve that is, is it really starts with um, a partner like uh, Pyramid E Services who works with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to you know, determine what country you want to go to, what institution you want to study at, and then from there, what program, because we want to make sure that you're on the right path that, that you need to be in order to fulfill your dreams. So why choose Canada? Um, so I'm not sure if everyone on the line has already chosen Canada, but um, so we do have a really high quality of education here. Uh, as I mentioned, we're one of 24 community colleges in the province of Ontario, um, and the community college uh, programs are regulated by the province of Ontario. And what that means is if a program is being offered at a college, then you can be assured that there is a labor market demand for that program. So, um, for example, um, there could be a local labor market demand. Uh, so in our case, it'd be regional or it could be a provincial, national or even international labor market demand. It's also affordable tuition and living compared to other countries around the world. The tuition um, is much less here in Canada. And then also with respect to um, accommodations and uh, off and living expenses, Niagara itself is much less expensive than living um, in a city like Toronto or Vancouver, for example. So in Niagara, you might pay $500 rent per month living with some other students, whereas in Toronto, it'd be $1,000 per month. It's a very multicultural and accepting society. We are a land made up of immigrants, of people from all over the world. Um, and one of our, our core values really is, is multiculturalism. It's accepting people. Um, and so you can be assured also, so if you come here, uh, you will see other people that look like you, but you'll also be accepted by our community. Um, we have safe and comfortable cities. Uh, the Niagara region has 450,000 people and 12, uh, there's 12 municipalities here. Uh, so it's quite spacious, it's clean, um, it's affordable, it's beautiful, it's very green and lush. Um, there's lots of things to do. Um, we have an exciting campus life. So one thing that's really important to us is that you not only succeed academically, but that you succeed in all areas. So we know that it's important for you to have the right accommodation, to have the other right supports. Uh, we have a very strong international division at Niagara College um, that will provide you with the right supports that you need to succeed. Um, and also, it's a land of possibilities. Um, uh, as I mentioned, we are made up of a land of immigrants and we rely heavily on immigrants to help meet our labor shortages. So there's a lot of, um, there's opportunity, as you know, for an immigration pathway. And if you study for one year, um, then you're eligible to apply for a one year postgraduate work permit. And if you study for two years or more, you're eligible for a three year postgraduate work permit. So I'm going to show you a video here and I'll just ask um, uh, Red John or Amandeep if you can't hear it, just to let me know.
Bacon. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I always enjoy watching the video and uh, um, I'm not sure if you were on the online when I started uh, talking this morning, but uh, yesterday I did get to go into the college. Um, it was really great to be on campus. Whenever I see that video, I've been watching it since March from home, um, but I haven't been on campus. So it's great to be there today um, because we have a very exciting campus life. And, and I hope that you were able to, to get from the video um, how students are learning because um, there's a really strong um, component of applied learning at Niagara College. So you're learning by doing, and that's really, it's part of the, col uh, the college um, philosophy of education, but specifically Niagara College, we're very strong leaders in applied learning. And so actually right now on campus for fall, uh, we have only the programs that have really strong lab components are, are being delivered on, um, on campus. And then uh, about 80% of our programs are being del delivered online, but this is just for the fall term. Our plan is to be delivering um, completely, uh, well, to be delivering on campus for January 2020, provided it is safe to do so. And we have um, uh, travel and government health regulations are followed. Um, there may be still programs that will be delivered in a hybrid format because we won't have the capacity on campus in January. Um, we need to still practice social distancing, as I'm sure you know. So um, when you come for your program in January, if you're studying in January, you'll still be studying on campus, but you'll still have some online components just so we can, um, you know, disperse the number of students that are on campus at a time. So we have uh, about 13,000 full-time students and 3,500 international students from all over the world, over 90 countries. So if you come, um, you're gonna get to meet new friends from all over the world. And uh, we have over 100 programs for you to choose from. We do have um, some scholarships available that I can talk about um, in the presentation at the end. There's also pathway opportunities. So if you're interested in a university education, you can um, study at Niagara College and some of our, uh, we have two and three year diploma programs and then you could go into uh, transition to a university partner of ours that we have an agreement with and then you could graduate from both schools and you would attain both a diploma and a university degree. So we have a lot of on-campus job opportunities. Um, you can work for up to uh, 20 hours a week off campus, um, but you can work unlimited hours on campus. And I'll talk more about those opportunities in the next slide. Um, and also 94% of employers are uh, satisfied with Niagara College graduates after they graduate. So on-campus job opportunities, I know for many students, um, you, you wanna work while you're here. Uh, so um, the minimum wage in Ontario is $14 an hour. Uh, so as I mentioned, you can work for 20 hours a week off campus and uh, you can make about 6,000 Canadian dollars in a year to help support your, your cost of living. Um, one of the things that's really neat with our, um, that goes towards our applied learning uh, concept at the college is around these learning institutions, or sorry, these learning enterprises. And you can think of them as learning businesses. So these, these businesses, are run on our campus by the students. So students, for example, um, studying in culinary uh, can work at Benchmark Restaurant. So the culinary students can work in the back of the house and the hospitality students can work in the front of the house. We also have a teaching greenhouse and nursery. So students in the environment and horticultural programs uh, can work in, the, in the, the greenhouse and anything that's sold. So, so it's open to people in the community to come and buy things. So it, it's a retail store and the students are the ones that grow everything, that sell everything. We also have a teaching winery, teaching brewery, teaching spa, we have teaching dental clinics. So if you're studying in the dental assistant program, you can actually work um, on campus in our dental clinic. Um, so again, it's open to people in the community who will come in uh, for, for teeth teeth care and then uh, students can work on them and practice the skills that they're they're learning. So the Niagara region, as you can see, we're located, um, see where the NC button is, we're located on the Canada-US border. 
Uh, we are located um, in the north, you see Lake Ontario, and in the south, you see Lake Erie. So um, we actually have a very unique microclimate here. Um, and my dad used to call Niagara the sunny south. So even though it's colder, it's cold, it's going to be colder than being in India, it's still milder compared to other areas in Canada. And also what that microclimate means is that we can grow uh, soft fruits such as grapes. So we have a really large wine industry in the Niagara region. We have over 150 wineries and um, we have a uh, viticulture program. So we have uh, the viticulture technician program and then we also have a postgraduate in wine business management. Um, also something to note about our, our location, um, as I mentioned we're on the Canada-US border. There's actually three border crossings um, between Canada and the US that go through the Niagara region and there's over 20 million dollars of trade that crosses the border each day. So we have a lot of um, there's a lot of business opportunities. There's a lot of business, international businesses that are located in the Niagara region. Um, so we have a very strong uh, postgraduate in international business, but we also have other uh, diploma programs in the School of Business, such as accounting, supply chain operations. We have sales and marketing, human resources. We have um, executive assistants, et cetera. So um, you're probably familiar with the famous Niagara Falls, which is located in our backyard. It's probably about 15 minutes from uh, one of our campuses. And uh, there's over 14 million visitors that come to Niagara Falls each year. And as a result, it requires a really strong hospitality infrastructure. There's a lot of uh, restaurants, hotels, there's lots of tourism attractions. Um, so that we have strong programs um, in our School of Hospitality, Tourism and Sport. So we have, uh, for example, hospitality and ho uh, hotel and restaurant operations. We also has a, have a tourism business development program, a two-year undergraduate diploma. Um, and we have a graduate certificate in hospitality and tourism management, which I actually, well, I graduated from Niagara College in 2001 in a graduate certificate from tourism uh, development. So they've modified that program and now it's the hospitality and tourism uh, development program. So we have two campuses. Uh, we have our Welland campus. Uh, Welland um, itself is, is about 50,000 people, uh, maybe it's 60,000 now, very small by, by Indian standards, of course. Um, so it's considered a, a small, mid-sized mid Canadian city. Um, so there we have our School of Applied Health. We have media studies, uh, community and justice. Uh, we also have our School of Technology, our School of Trades, we have our English for Academic Preparation program there. Um, also mm -hmm. unique to the Niagara Research mm -hmm. College is we have um, the Niagara Research. So Niagara, uh, Niagara College is the number one research college in Canada. And as with our learning, the research is also applied learning. So we work with local businesses and local industry on real life uh, research challenges and help support their business development. So if you're working um, so, for example, we have um, advanced, uh, the Advanced Manufacturing um, Research Center, so you could work there if you're studying in a school of technology or trades. Uh, our second campus is the Daniel J. Patterson campus, which used to be called the Niagara on the Lake campus, and it was recently renamed after our president, Dr. Da Jan Patterson, that retired after 25 years of leading the college. Um, so there we have our Canadian Food and Wine Institute, so we have our culinary programs, our viticulture programs, our brewery programs, and then we also have our School of Hospitality, Tourism and Sport, and I mentioned a few of those programs. We have our School of Business and Management, and then we have our Environment and Horticulture programs. So in the School of Horticulture, sorry, Environment and Horticulture, we have um, landscape technician, horticulture technicians. So we have a lot of two and three year uh, diploma programs um, in, in that school and then we also have two postgraduate certificates uh, ecosystem restoration and environmental management assessment so our programs um, the different uh, uh, certificates that you can earn um, we have or credentials rather so we have uh, one year undergraduate and then graduate certificates so those students are studying for one year so for undergraduate certificates, uh, for example, we have a one-year culinary skills program or baking and pastry po program, uh, both of the, out of Canadian Food and Wine Institute. And then in our School of Trades, we have uh, quite a few one-year programs 
So we have um, general machinist, we have welding techniques. Uh, so those are one-year programs. And then uh, for two-year programs, two and three-year, we have a lot of diplomas. So um, what you can think of like for two or three year trying to decide what to study, it would depend on how more in depth you want to go into that discipline. So for example, um, in the School of Technology, we have electrical engineering technician, which is a two year program. And then we have electrical engineering technology, which is a three year program. And we have that for electrical engineering, photonics, mechanical, electronic, um, construction. So you can take a look at which one of those uh, programs you're interested in and then decide if you want to do a two and three year. Um, and then we have uh, three graduate, sorry, three degree programs that you can take a look at. They're all uh, bachelors of administration. We have one in hospitality, one in um, international commerce and global development, and one in human resource, human resources. Uh, many of these programs have a co-op component where you would work for four months. Uh, so the way that that works is, I'll use culinary management again as an example. So you study for two terms, and then you have one term off, and then you study for two more terms. And in that term off, you have your co-op placement. So you're working for a local employer, you do get paid. Again, the minimum wage is $14 an hour. So in that four, four month period, you can make about 6,000 Canadian dollars. So you gain uh, practical skills in your field, but you also start to build your network in the community because when you graduate, um, you're going to want a reference from some uh, when you apply for new jobs so that we usually typically provide three references to employers when we apply for jobs in Canada and you can you know, use your co-op as a reference. So student services are really important to us as I mentioned and uh, we are real, uh, we have a very large student population, uh, international student population compared to uh, other colleges our size. So we are a leader in international student services um, in Canada. Uh, we have uh, immigration certified international student advisors that can provide you with support and advisement on anything related to immigration. We also have health services on campus. So your health insurance is included um, in your tuition and we have uh, doctors and nurses located at each campus. Um, we also have academic advisement. We know that you're coming to a new country. Uh, it's gonna be different, a different learning format. Uh, so we want to support you in adjusting to that and we do have academic advisement and support. We have a career center and employment uh, support. Um, I'll just, I didn't mention this, but 82% of our graduates find employment within six months of graduation. Um, and we have, through our career center, we actually have a job portal called uh, My Careers and employers will post jobs there for Niagara College students. So whether it's for your co-op or for when you're graduating, there's different job opportunities there for you to take a look at. And we provide support such as resume writing, cover letter writing, how to interview in Canada, uh, et cetera. We also have um, strong athletic uh, facilities and other recreational facilities on campus. Uh, Niagara College invested uh, 75 million over the last three years into campus facilities. And most of those are, were either student services. So we have a beautiful new state-of-the-art uh, cafeteria at the Welling campus. And then also at the uh, Negro on the Lake campus, we have a brand new uh, athletic center. And then housing and accommodations, uh, we do have an international housing coordinator at each campus that can support you with uh, looking for your housing. So admission and scholarships, I just wanted to uh, show you this. So for the degree programs uh, that I showed you, if you're admitted into one of these programs, you automatically get a $2,500 scholarship. And if you maintain an 80% average, then um, in each term, you will get an additional $2,500 scholarship. Uh, then if, you're, if you have 70 plus average, then you would, you would get a $1,000 scholarship per term. Or if it's 60% plus, you would get a $500 scholarship per term. So if you're, if you're an 80 plus student, you have the opportunity to win over $20,000 in scholarships if you study in one of our degree programs. Um, so, uh, most I'll just mention the costing. So, tuition costs between sixteen and twenty thousand dollars Canadian per year. Um, it will depend on um, what the material fees are associated with your uh, program, on how how much the cost is. Um, 
We are providing conditional offers at this time. So um, if you have your 10th um, or your 10 plus one, you can apply with that until you receive your 10 plus two. Um, and then also we're accepting uh, Duolingo uh, IELTS indicator and TOEFL special home edition. Although I understand that the IELTS testing centers are opening up in India now and you'll be able to, to officially get your IELTS. But if you want to apply quickly, then you can apply with your Duolingo. Um, Believe it or not, we can still accept uh, online fall applications for um, programs that are being delivered online, but we are open for winter um, and spring 2021. Uh, typically what we do is we close down um, next week, we'll be closing down our applications for September 2020 and opening up for 2021 if there's anybody here that wants to look that far ahead. Um, I'm just going to show you some, uh, I'm going to stop sharing this screen and I just want to show you a few more resources. Actually, you know what, I, I think I'll show those other resources as um, as needed. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just stop talking there because I've been talking for a while and uh, we can open it up and see if you have any questions. I see we have 68 participants, which is great. And uh, hopefully um, if you have any queries or concerns, I can put your mind at ease today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thank you so much for the informative uh, presentation. It's, it's uh, quite helpful to understand more about the, 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 the college. So I a very first student raising her hand, Muskan Preet Kaur. Muskan, you can uh, unmute and you can talk to ma'am about your queries. Hello. Hello, Hi. Hello how are you? Fine, ma'am. You say. Good. How can I help you today? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Ma'am, actually, uh, I for the DAPO mine, but, uh, but after DAPO, for my AIP and now I want to attend online classes. Oh, great. 2020. Okay, so what you can do is just um, talk to your um, your your counselor um, in uh, admissions at Pyramid, and they can send uh, me. Ask them to send me an email, and then we can get you uh, enrolled right away. That's great that you got your AIP. Uh, I do it. Which which is the program? Fitness and health. Okay. Yes, that's being delivered online. So yeah, we can um, we can admit you into that program. All right, Muskan, we'll make sure that we put across your request as soon as possible. Rajan, I hope you have listed the query. Thank you, Muskan. Thank you so much for joining in. Joanne, next I have uh, Manisha Sagal. Manisha, you can unmute and you can speak to Joanne about your queries. Hi, Manisha here. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Hi, Manisha. Hi. I, um, uh, I want to understand if there is a uh, gap in the previous uh, previous um, education like I have done um, MBA in HR from India but I want to pursue a postgraduate diploma in human resource management from um, uh, from Canada and I have a gap of nine years I have a work experience of nine years am I eligible to apply um, absolutely you're ed eligible to apply I would just um, one of the things I think um, and this is where pyramid um, e-services comes in this is their specialty they're the ones that are experts with the visa application so I think um, if you meet with the counselor at pyramid they'll be able to advise you um, with respect to visa uh, your visa application which is the best program for you uh, to apply for but definitely the, we have no gap restriction at Niagara College. Also, I have uh, one more question. If, uh, you know, if somebody is pursuing a postgraduate diploma in HR from uh, Niagara College, so uh, will the person uh, get uh, one year um, work permit after that? As, yeah, so Manisha, what you can do is after you apply, after you study for one year, you're eligible to apply for a one year postgraduate work permit. If you study for two years, uh, you're eligible to apply for a, a three year or two or more years you're eligible to apply for a three year so what a lot of uh, students will do is uh, they'll take two postgraduate uh, programs uh, back to back so that they're eligible to apply for a three year uh, postgraduate work permit so what you could do for example is you, if you take uh, human resource management your first year your second year you could take international business management and then you can apply for a three year uh, graduate postgraduate work permit okay all right thank you so much thank you manisha thank you do send your number to me in the chat section okay sure. thank you sure. okay uh join next i have a student with the name of uh, shiva yadav shiva you can please unmute and you can speak to join yeah uh, hi ma'am hi shavya how are you yeah i'm good thank you how are you good 
I'm good, thank you. Okay, I just want to know uh, that I have done my masters in psychology in 2015. Uh, so I just wants to pursue my masters of education. Do you have any program? Uh, we don't have masters at colleges. So if you're interested in studying a two years ma- a two year master program, then you'll need to go to university. Um, okay. We do offer uh, graduate certificates. So those are one year uh, post graduate programs. So they are at the higher level than degrees. Okay. Um, the one that you might be interested in um, is we have an autism and behavioral science graduate certificate. Um, so you might want to talk to uh, a pyramid uh, counselor about that, and just to take a look at it and see if it's something that interests you. Okay, in the in uh, a gap between uh, my tenth uh, and uh, I think in eleventh and twelfth standard, uh, because of medical problem, uh, is there any problem for that? Not at all. Okay, and I have two kids. Uh, can I bring my kids with me? Okay, so I um I'm not an immigration advisor, so that again that's something that um, Pyramid can advise you on as part of your application uh, for applying for your visa. They'll they'll be able to better support you with that. So I would uh, suggest connecting with a uh, your Pyramid counselor, and they could answer that question. Like like there is no problem with our age group. Like I'm 33 years old, so there's no problem for that. So again, the only thing I can advise on is admissions to Niagara College. I can't advise on uh, the visa, but I would I would recommend. Recommend that you connect with uh, your pyramid uh, counselor with respect to the the visa process. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, Joanne, we have next student with the name of uh, Rajveer Kaur. Rajveer, you can unmute and you can speak to ma'am. Hello. Hi, Rajveer. How are you? I'm fine. But about good. you? I'm good. Thank you. Actually, ma'am, my program is early childhood, which was started yesterday. But I was not able to attend my classes. Please tell me how to attend my own my online classes. I check the Blackboard regularly, but there is no information on which app we have to attend classes. Okay, so um, your Blackboard's working, and you're able to log in. No, no problem. Ma'am, I logged it, but uh, there is no information uh, on which app our classes will going on. I check so it you're... regularly. Yeah, your courses should be there. Um, your courses should be listed on your Blackboard. Um, so if they're not, you can send an email to international at negracollege.ca. Yes. Yeah. So it's international I... at negracollege.ca. Yes, ma'am. I already so sent a lot of emails. They'll have to look at. But there is no reply, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you know what? Part of the challenge is, and I'm going to tell everybody on the call: if you send us 20 emails and every student sends us 20 emails, then you backlog our email system. So please only send us one email, and I'm just going to put the email. So if you have a general question, um, then you can email international at negracollege.ca, um, and they'll be able to help with your query. um and additionally join i can take the student phone number we will think my best advice to you and i think um right now if if there's a problem with your blackboard or something else technical like that basically what they'll do is they'll field your question and then it might also be an its problem um and they can advise you on what to do for next steps but keep an eye because maybe your faculty didn't populate your courses yet so keep checking your blackboard but again um just wait if you've already sent an email then our team will get back to you it just they are it, this is a busy time for us um and they're probably a bit backlogged but if everyone sends uh 10 emails each then we become more backlogged so it's better that if you have an issue you just send one person and one email and our team i promise you will take care of it okay right okay so please be patient don't worry Roger we'll get you set up and you'll be starting your classes soon okay okay thank you Okay, you're welcome. And welcome to Niagara College. Thank you. V- virtually, of course. Okay, thank you, ma'am. All right, dear. Thank you so much. Uh, our admissions head, Dr. Pooja, is also in this conference, so she has heard the whole conversation. We'll make sure that you know whatever the concern you are facing, we we'll call you up and we'll sort it out quickly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. 
thank you dear thank you so much i'll 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 move to when the student name is on a phone that is oppo a71 uh, dear you can unmute and you can speak to ma'am oppo a71 3gb is written hello <coughs> hi how are you how are you ma'am good fine you see oh good i'm good thank you ma'am uh, i applied uh, for early childhood course uh, for september 2020 but uh, i do i do not uh, uh, want to uh, take online classes then i defer my uh, program for uh, january 2021 but uh, i uh, tomorrow i receive a mail about uh, this uh, i uh, never able to get a seat uh, for that program but i want to uh, take a seat in this program So the did they say the program was full for January? Yes, ma'am. Early childhood program, ma'am. Yes. I think the only thing we could do so the 3 year program. So you said you were admitted for the fall? So can you can you have your um your pyramid counselor um e- send me an email with your student number and your deferral request specifically to me? Um we can ask Dr. Pooja to help with that and then you can send me an email and uh request the deferral and then I can take a look at it with our admissions team because if you yeah if you because it does look like there though there is a January start so I just need to check if there's availability okay so we can take a look at your case for you and see what we can do okay ma'am uh, can i able to uh, apply for same program well i'm going to take a look at it yeah yes please send an email with the request and then i can i can take a look at it for you so um pooja do you want to jump in yeah uh dear uh, we will share you my mobile number and what you can do is after this meeting you can call me back so i'll share the, the number in the chat and additionally i will tell you the process what has to be done okay ma'am thank you yes tell me number thank you so much gagan pooja ma'am is sending you your number her number she the, you can call her after the session okay okay sir thank you all right so uh, a small request i can see lot of questions in the chat you can also see students raising their hand uh students please wait so i have a request to all students please have patience one by one we'll make sure that all the questions are sorted okay so joen i can see few questions in the chat section to me so i'll uh, read those out to you Okay. Um, there's a student with the name of Simrit Kaur. Uh, she has done her studies in humanities and she passed out in 2019. So she is asking that what course do you suggest she should apply for? She holds 6.5, not less than six IELTS band score, and her 12th score GPA is 7.5. And also she has mentioned, you know, her subjects which she studied were English, Hindi. fashion studies physical education and political science okay so i have to so we have 14 graduate certificates so if you already have your undergraduate degree in humanities um i think what i would do is take a you'd have to take a look at the graduate cer- certificates to see which one interests you um i can tell you that i have a background in humanities um and when i started working actually 20 years ago i started working in an international division at niagara college Um and one of the things that my uh manager and director recommended to me at that time is that I had a lot of skills but I didn't have a lot of business sense. And so they actually recommended the tourism development graduate certificate to me and that's what I studied. And so I found um that it was a strong balance with my it gave me like a little bit of business knowledge balanced with my humanities knowledge so you may want to go that path but you have to decide based on the programs that we offer so you could take a look at international business management which really you would get a foundation of um with finances and marketing and things like that also you could take a look at the hospitality and tourism management program um there's human resources as well the human resource management program so if you want to work with people if you have good people skills um with the background in humanities you might just have that so i would work with your your counselor at pyramid who can go through all the graduate certificates with you and of course uh program by program and just so that you can decide what works best but i might recommend one of those three off the top of my head i hope that helps yep joen this is asking if she can uh, consider nursing as an option 
So un unfortunately, um, without a nursing uh, undergraduate, you wouldn't be able to apply for that. And our nursing programs are only open to domestic students. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, uh, Simrit, I hope you have got your answer and uh, I have also got your contact number in the, you have mentioned your name only as that. So, our team will contact you. Okay. So, Joanne, I'll move in the chat section again as there are a lot of questions over there. Sure. So, there's a student name of Rajdeep Singh. I have just cleared my class 12 with 65% marks having commerce without maths but with IP which is computer subject. And I have scored 6.5 not less than 6 bands in IELTS. I have a question that can I apply for computing science in your college mm -hmm. but I don't have maths in 12th. Okay, I have to look at that individually, the computer programming. Um, I know that all of these programs in the School of Technology require math. Um, I don't uh, know specifically um, if the computer programming uh, requires a math. Um, what you can do quickly is um, you could well you, you could do two things. I mean, all of our program, all of our programs are online. So if you Google Niagara College Computer Programming, or if you go to the Niagara College School of Media, all the programs are listed. And for each of the program, it has admission requirements, and it will tell you whether or not it requires a math. Um, but also, obviously, you could meet with your pyramid counselor, and they can go through the programs with you and see which ones you're eligible for. I want to say that it probably does require math, um, but I, I'm sorry, I don't have that memorized just because uh, we have over 100 programs and I'm still working on memorizing all the admission requirements. But those are the two ways that you oh, can find okay. out. Okay, uh, Joanne, I'll, I'll move to the next there. Hi, Rajiv, you can you can unmute now. Uh, please go ahead. Hi, and as you said that a math is compulsory in your college, but someone told me that in a we can give a math test if they don't have maths in math. Um, we do, we do have, um, we don't have a math test that you can take. You have to take, uh, you have to have a math, meet the math requirement. In some cases, we will um, accept an accounting or finance pro, uh, course. Okay, so no problem. Joanne, I'll move to the next uh, query in the chat section from a student. So there's a student, again, the student name is not mentioned. It's uh, KKSS, that's what I can see. So, uh, Sir, I want to know my culinary uh, skills is for one year, okay. After this course, I will get one year work permit then and if I choose another one year course like cooking and bakery after two years study, will I be able to get two years work permit? Okay, about fees, Colin send me a fulfill the fees, I've already paid the fees according to me. Okay, uh, student with the name of KKSS, your query is not clear, can you, can you please unmute and you can speak to ma'am directly? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Hello, how are you today? Hello, ma'am. I'm how fine. How are you? Good. Asked about you. I'm good, thank you. So you've already been accepted into culinary skills? Yes, ma'am. I was accepted in my intake. But due to lockdown, my biometric was pending. So I was deferred for September intake. Uh, but now my biometric is still pending. So I was deferred again for January intake. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my question is, uh, college sent me an email uh, to fulfill the fee according to the offer uh, letter which is mentioned for January in this now. Okay, so you are accepted for January then? Yes ma'am, now I am, I am deferred for January intake. Okay, good. So I understood your question earlier. So you're ba basically you're asking, so if you, if you're, st when you're studying in your first term of culinary skills, you can apply for your next program, which I understood to be baking and pastry. And if you, um, yes, so you can take the two programs back to back. And then what you can do is you're, because you've studied for two full years, you're eligible to apply for a three year postgraduate work permit. Okay, now if I and, do my culinary stage program plus bakery and, post, uh, bakery and baker's pastry, then I can uh, get my third three year third permit. Yes. And just to note to all students, the interesting thing, and somebody was asking about math. So our baking and pastry program does require a math. And this is information for the pyramid counselors as, as well. So if a student doesn't have a math, what they can do is they can actually start with the culinary skills program because then they, they gain their math requirement through the culinary skills program. And then the second program 
can be the baking and pastry. Um, and eventually, I'm hoping late fall, uh, we'll be able to provide clubbed offers for those two programs in our system. So yes, um, that's what you can do. Okay, and hopefully we see you in January and you get your visa in time and, and uh, everything works out. And what was made there? Pardon? Amman College sent me an email to fulfill the fees, and which is uh, 20,000 Indian according to Indian currency. It is more than the previous open letter fee. Should I pay it now or if my seat is booked? I can pay it later. Um, you need to pay your fees by the due date indicated on your invoice in order to secure your seat. Okay, the pending fee should I, I should be paid it. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that'll that'll secure your seat for you. Okay, thank you. Man. Okay, thank you. Uh, before we move ahead, it's a small request to all the students. I can see a lot of questions in the chat section. I, I understand you want to get your queries answered, but I would request a little patience. I'll, I'm making, uh, it'll take a little time, so it's a request, Keep, uh, please wait one by one. I'm reading all the questions in the chat section. I'll get to your turn as well. Okay, so there's a student with the name of Neha. Uh, she has done her engineering in 2013 with uh, 71%. Uh, she uh, She's asking if there is a, a program related to IT that's for one year and uh, she has not shared more on that she also said that she, uh, she holds seven years of experience with uh, tcs uh, mnc in it sector okay so um, we don't have a graduate certificate um, in it we do have one that's related to engineering if uh, she wanted to pursue that so we have industrial automation um, which is a one-year, actually it's a, it's the three-term graduate certificate. Uh, the next available intake for that is not until fall uh, 2021. So that might not be what you're looking for. So in your case, I would recommend that you connect with your pyramid counselor and then they can take a look at our programs and possibly other institutions uh, that would have that one-year graduate certificate that you're looking for in, a, in IT. So uh, ma'am, I can, uh see quite a few more questions as well so i'll drop to one student with the name of parminder kaur so she's saying sir i applied with course of fitness and health promotion i deferred my course before receiving my aip but now i received my aip and again requested to defer my batch i sent email to college but i'm yet to receive the reply okay my apologies i've sent a mail to college but the college has replied that this course is not available for january 21 now I want to attend my online classes. Can I attend them now? Yes, you can. So basically, again, um, we'll just um, ask somebody from uh, Pooja's, Dr. Pooja's team uh, to connect with the student and then you can send me a personal email, uh, Pooja, and then we can get that student enrolled today. You're right, right, right. So okay. uh, I hope you uh, I hope you got uh, your answer. Uh, do you have any other f uh, other question to ask? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Parvinder. Okay, so uh, Thanks, moving, Parvinder. so moving ahead, if I if I talk about the more questions that I have from the students, uh, I'm so sorry, Joanne. I there are a lot of questions, so it's taking a little time. No worries. Okay, I can see a gentleman with the name of Gotham. So Gotham is uh, have has done MBA which is extended by two years am i eligible to apply uh, i have passed out in 2015 august and since then i'm continuing my job so yes you can definitely apply um, for one of the programs um, so we don't have a gap restriction at negra college so you can um, have studied a while ago so what i would do is take a look at the graduate certificates that we offer so because you have an mba um, I wouldn't uh, recommend the International Business Management Program because that might not be good for your visa application. But of course, as I mentioned, uh, your pyramid counselor can better advise you on that. Um, but you might want to complement it with something. So for example, um, we have a hospitality and tourism management program, or we have a human resource management program. If you wanted to specialize in one of those, you could also take a look at um, one of the things uh, that we've had before is wine business management. So if you were interested in working in that industry, um, we're actually, this is a note for the pyramid counselors 
Uh, next fall, we're going to be offering, instead of wine business management, we're going to be offering beverage business management because we have uh, the brewery, distillery, and, and winery on campus. So that could be something you're interested in. Um, but take a look at the graduate certificates. Uh, those are the ones that I might recommend. But um, And then your, your counselor at Pyramid can just uh, make sure that you're applying for the right one that's going to complement your visa application. Right. Thank, thank you, Joanne. Uh, Dear, do you have any further question to ask? If you have any question, you can you can unmute and you can ask your question. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Gautam. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, actually, I want to inquire about my admission. Uh, as you know, I have completed MBA uh, in 2015. So, is it any gap required? I think in my no, case. No, no, as I mentioned, we don't have a gap restriction, um, uh, study restriction. So uh, that's fine for our admission process. But then uh, again, you might want to con- connect with uh, your pyramid counselor because they'll be able to advise you the best uh, for your visa application on what program um, it would complement your MBA. And what about IELTS? Uh, do you IELTS or Duolingo? Uh, we do accept Duolingo right now as well as IELTS. The immigration will also accept Duolingo? No, immigration is only accepting IELTS. So you'll need, um, you can apply with Duolingo. Um, and for the graduate certificates, we need um, between 125 and 130. Um, so you can apply with uh, your Duolingo now so that you're accepted. And then you'll need to start the process to do your academic IELTS. And for IELTS, you'll need 6, 6.5 overall um, with no band under 5.5. Okay, thank you. You're thank welcome. you, Gautam. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much, Gautam. Thank you so much for attending the session. Uh, so, uh, a quick question, uh, Joanne, from a student named uh, Sonam Swaru. So, uh, she is asking to verify that if Niagara College is accepting PTE as well. Uh, PTE, yes, we are. Um, if you hold on, I have it open and I can put this into the chat. This is our language proficiency. But so, for PTE, uh, you need between 53, um, so you need 53 plus. For diploma level and 58 plus for graduate and degree programs and i'll just um i'll paste this into the chat for everyone and then you can take a look at our um, language proficiency requirements thank you thank you thank you joanne thank you for sharing it uh moving ahead uh joanne i can see a student with the name of pradeep kaur uh she's uh, putting in a query i have completed my bcom in 2018 with 72 percent and i have two years of gap in my study and uh, I got overall six bands and in one module it's 5.5. Is any two-year course available at Niagara College? Yes, so yeah, you can definitely apply with that um, profile. You can apply to um, one of our two or three-year diploma programs in the School of Business. Uh, So we have um, accounting, sales and marketing, um, international business, um, human resources. So you could take a look at those programs to see which one uh, most interests you. Um, and then you can apply for either the two or three year program. Uh, can, you, can you hear us? Would you like to ask anything else to ma'am? You can unmute and you can talk to her. No, no, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, Perfect. thanks, Pardeep. Pardeep. Okay, uh, moving ahead, uh, Join. I have a student with the name of Sukhjeevan Sangha. Uh, sir, I have completed my 12th class in Commerce Stream in 2020 with 84%. I want to go for Business Accounting Diploma. Uh, I don't have Maths in 12, so is it possible that I can enroll in this program? Yes. So actually, um, this is a note for all students. So any of the business programs um, do not require a math, even accounting. So um, you can take any of the uh, programs in the School of Business uh, without having a math. Right. Thank you, Joanne. Subjeevan, I hope you got your answer so you can apply for the program. Uh, Subjeevan, can you uh, again send your phone number to us so that we can contact you ahead uh, for processing of your application at the college? Okay, Joanne, uh, there's a student with the name of Harman Deep. Uh, who is already enrolled. He's asking how to attend online classes for a program related to mechanical engineering technology. When I opened my Blackboard, there is no link of online classes. So there should be. Yeah, there should be. So in each of the courses, 
um, each of the courses should have a course description. So they need to go into each course that's listed um, in their Blackboard and they click on the course and they should go into their course description. There's going to be um, uh, an overall description of the program and the course and how it's delivered. So they should review that because every single course is different. So I can't really comment on what that looks like. There might not be a link per se because they need to go through course by course to see. If there's any problems, what I what I recommend is that you 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 email the coordinator of your program. So you can Google so on, on the program page, um, there's going to be, you can, you, you can find out who the staff are in the mechanical engineering technology program. And then you can um, email uh, the coordinator of the program and ask them if you have any problems with your Blackboard. Because I can't really speak to each program and what the Blackboard looks like, but generally speaking, what will happen is like, your courses will be listed. You need to click on each of your courses. You'll be able to go in to see for each course, how it will be delivered. Um, some of it will be synchronous, which means it's happening real time that you'll need to log into the same at the real at the same time as your prof. Um, or it may, may be asynchronous, which means that it's going to happen at different times and it's just pre-recorded. So please just look through that um, course by course on your Blackboard. Uh, do a little digging to find the information. If you can't find it, then you can email your program coordinator and they'll be able to help you. Right. Uh Dear, I hope you got your answer and uh, uh, like Joanne said, we'll, uh, we'd request if you can put it across to us as well. So if you can just let me know what branch are you connected with uh, at Pyramidy Services so that we can coordinate accordingly. I think the student is not there right now. The student has put a message in the chat section, but I can't see the student in the attendance. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll move to the next student, Joanne. Uh, there's a student who wants to speak to you, Akhil uh, Francis. Akhil, you can unmute and you can speak to ma'am. Now, how are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you, Akhil? Fine, 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 fine. And this one yeah. uh, completed beta computer science in 2018 pass of time. After that, uh, I was going for this one. Uh, working currently, I'm working in system administrator Linux. Okay. So now I'm planning to uh, do a course in this one. Niagara University is good, I think. I have heard of many things. So which course will be favorable for me? What do you think? Okay, so um, can you repeat what your undergrad was again? Uh, B.Tech Computer Science, undergraduate in Computer Science. Okay, Computer Science. So um, we don't have a graduate certificate um, related to Computer Science. So the, the computer programs that we do have, um, I think obviously like you need to make sure that whatever you study, it complements what you're studying. Okay. Um, so. Currently, I'm working in security means cyber security or networking, both fields I'm working now. So in related to that means it will be okay for me. Okay, so we have um, computer programming and analysis, which is a three-year program. Um, and then we also have a two-year computer programming and two-year computer systems technician network and cloud technologies program. Okay, that last one I'm preferring, I think, because networking and security is, currently I'm going through this one. Okay. Because I am working in that one, that domain only. So if I am going for that domain, it will be helpful, helpful for me, I think. Yes, I think so. Like that's the thing I mentioned. Um, you just need to make sure that it complements whatever you're already studying, and that will support your visa application as well. So I recommend that you connect with one of the pyramid counselors, and then they can take a look at what you've already studied and with this program, and make sure it's the right fit for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Man. Thanks, Akil. Thank you, Akhil. Akhil, uh, I believe you are connected with our Kochi office, right? Yeah, Kochi from Saumia. She has given me this number. Perfect. Yes, I'm a uh, with the uh, Kochi office. He's associated with the Kochi office. Right, ma'am. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Akhil. Thank you so much for joining the session. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, Joanne, I have uh, another student. Uh, his name is mentioned in a, as iPhone. Uh, he has completed his 12th standard with medical stream and CBSE board last year with 70% and he holds uh, 83 marks in English with IELTS uh, he has 6 overall and in reading he has got 5.5 uh, rest he has got 6 man so one module is 5.5 he's asking that which course is relevant uh, uh, for him that he should look for well with with your background um 
so you, you do meet qualifications for the diploma level programs. So, um, so if you want to stay in the science field, you could take a look at our allied health programs. Um, so I'm going to recommend, um, so we have a community pharmacy assistant program uh, that you could study. That is a one year program. There's also a pharmacy technician, which is a two year program. So I'm not sure if you want to work in the pharmacy field, but those are really strong programs um, in the allied health. And then there's also, if you wanted to look at dental, there's dental assisting, which is a one year program. So if you want to stay in the sciences, those are the programs that I would recommend for you. Hi dear, uh, I hope you uh, have got the recommendation. Do you have any further question to ask? Okay. Uh, Join next I have a student with the name of Taranjit Kaur. Taranjit, you can unmute and you can speak to ma'am directly. Okay, uh, Join, I think the student is unable to uh, speak but the, she has did, she did message in the chat section earlier. So I'll just uh, repeat her question. Uh, hello sir, I am uh, Taranjit Kaur. I have applied for early childhood education course and I have not received my visa yet. So in that case, I have to defer my session so far that I'm not able to get the same course, but I want to opt for the same course. So please help me out with that. So Duane, uh, she wants to defer, but she's not getting this course. So uh, what do you suggest? Well, we had another student with the same case earlier. So um, I'll have to look at that individually with our admissions manager. So um, if you can connect with your um, your pyramid counselor and then uh, Dr. Puja can send me an email specifically um, with your case and then I can request, I can, I can consult with our admissions manager to see if you've already paid your fees. Um, um, I'm not sure if you have applied for your visa or not, um, but oh yeah, I have not received my visa yet, but we can we can look at that deferral on a case by case uh, basis for sure. Right. Taranjit, can Taranjit, you please specify which branch, branch that you did? Uh, till then, I'll move to the next student. So there's a student with the name of Jas Jasmine Preet Kaur who's asking for the session recorded. Jasmine, you can unmute and you can ask uh, the class session uh, recording to uh, join directly. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. You sir? Good, thank you. Um, I want to know the last uh, evening my teacher told me you can see this recording lecture after but when I go to the account then I can't find that how can I find you'll have to ask your teacher dear okay so please email your teacher back because I don't I, I, I don't really know for each course um, I, um, how it's being posted on blackboard right that's what the faculty is taking care of so please email your your faculty member back and ask them specifically and they'll you're one of the things um, I want all the students to know is that our faculty are incredibly friendly and helpful and we want you to succeed so if you ever have any questions please uh, don't be shy in asking uh, your faculty your professors for question, uh, questions uh, but also you can request one-on-one -on -one meetings with them they'll zoom with you so that you can get to know them a little bit and then answer any questions or concerns you have about your course. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good luck. All right, dear. Thank you so much. All right, uh, moving ahead, Joanne, there's a student with the name of Abhinav Thakur. Abhinav, you can unmute and you can speak to ma'am. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. You say? I'm good, thank you. My query is if I apply for January 2021 and take in Niagara College. Hello. Hello, yes, I'm listening. Um, if I apply for January 2021 intake in Niagara College, then will college provide me a support letter to travel to Canada or not? So, if, okay, so first of all, um, we wouldn't provide the, sport, the letter until closer to January. Um, so, that question's a bit complicated because we don't know what will happen for January. So, we don't even know if we need, we'll, we'll need support letters. Presumably, we will need support letters and you will still have to quarantine when you come. We do have, I'll just mention this to everybody. Um, we do have, right now, for the fall intake, what we're doing is we have a mandatory Niagara College um, quarantine program that students need to go through. So, if a student is required to be on campus, um, then we provide the support letter. So, um, Avinav, um, my sense is what will happen in January, because again, it, there's a lot of unknowns, right? We don't know what government travel policy will be. We don't know what immigration policy will be. But I'm assuming if it's the same as now, 
what we'll do if your program is being delivered on campus um, is gradually we're going to have to get all the students here um, and go through our quarantine program so that you're able to study um, with us. So if you have to quarantine for two weeks before your program in January, Niagara College, um, you either have to go through our, our quarantine program or you have to have approval from our quarantine team uh, that your quarantine program um, is, is safe. Um, and then we will provide you with the letter of support. So the, the, that was a long answer. <laughs> so we will provide you with the letter of support if we need to. At this point, um, we're four months away. Um, it's really hard to say exactly what will happen, but if, if things happen like the fall, then definitely. Um, if your program is being delivered online, um, you can go through our quarantine program and we will provide you with a letter of support so you can travel. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, sorry that if that's a long answer, but you know it's a bit complicated given everything that's yeah, happening, yeah. right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, Abhinav. Okay, uh, next I have a student with the name of Jaxeer Brad. Jaxeer, you can unmute and you can talk. Please let me ask a question. Uh, dear, uh, I can't see your name. May I know who's this? What's your name, dear? My name is Sandeep Kar. Yes, Sandeep, please go ahead. Please ask. Yeah, I can see your chat box message as well. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. You stay. I'm good, thank you. Hello. The sun, the sun's going to come up soon ma here. So. <laughs> ma'am, I have a question that I applied for my deferment for Jan 21st. But suddenly I received an email that this course is unable in general take. That is recreation therapy. Is it unable in general take? I'm sorry, what was the program? Recreation therapy, ma'am. Fast track. Recreation therapy. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think that program is available in January, but I'm just going to check my cheat sheet here. No, so that program is only available in September. Okay, that's why I registered for online classes. Yes. I want to know so, that I would. Okay, I have this for online classes. Now I want to know that I will get uh, all the material for lectures to study yes, after so, a lecture. Right. So did did okay. So are you still are you still registered to study online for the fall? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But I missed orientation because I received email uh, on the 9th of September and that's why I, I registered on 9th of September. You're registered, you're registered for the 9th of September? Yes, um, I missed so, coordination. Okay, have you received your AIP? Ma'am, I received my AIP on 4th September but I, but I applied for deferment on uh, 1st September and I okay. received email that this course is unable in Jan intake on 9th September. Okay, so we need to make sure that you're still registered in your program for the fall, first of all. Yes, ma'am. So, it, do you, it, are your courses still showing up on your Blackboard? Yes, ma'am, I registered and I started online classes. And my classes will okay. start uh, on Friday. Okay, great. So all you need to do, um, so if you miss the orientation for your program, if if it was if it was recorded, it should be available in your Blackboard. Okay. So as I mentioned um, to some of the other students, you can email any of our your professors. So email a professor if you have a question. Say, look, I missed the orientation. Can I still access it? And they'll let you know. If, okay. you, if it's available on your blackboard, if you can't find it. Can you please can you tell me ma'am that uh, in which way uh, I will give the exam? It will be online? Um, um, so one of the things like every single professor had to design their online program uh, the way that they wanted to. So I cannot speak to how your uh, exam will be delivered. However, what you can do, so for every single course that you have, it's listed on your Blackboard as individual courses. You have to read the course outline for each of those courses to see what the assessments will be. So there could be like four assignments worth, you know, 10%, uh, midterm might be 20%, my math's not going to add up here, uh, but then the rest might be the exam. So you need to take a look at each of your course outlines uh, to see what the assessments will be because I cannot speak to that because I'm not your professor. 
So please review everything in Blackboard and then all of your questions should be answered. If not, you have your professor's email and you can email them with any specific questions. Um, I have also another question. How many semesters in one year? Uh, there's um, the, so the rec therapy. So you're in fast track, right? Yes, recreation therapy in fast track. Yeah, so um, a typical program, because this is a two year program. So a typical yes. pro program would, would be uh eight months of study four months off eight months of study so for the fast track um i i believe it's you just do four you do your four consecutive terms so so you should have that start and end date on your letter of acceptance so please look at your letter of acceptance and that will show you how long you're going to be studying for Okay, does that help? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're welcome, uh, and you're welcome, and welcome to Niagara College. Thank you, ma'am, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you so much. I hope all your questions were answered. Have a have a good evening. All right, Joanne, I will read out the question then. Uh, so the student name is Aman Jodh. Uh, the student has completed 12th standard in science with 62% and uh, is currently studying architecture. Uh, the student is in the second year. And okay, now I want to pursue BA ga in game design for next intake. Can I apply without IELTS through English proficiency letter from the school? If not, what is the IELTS requirement and what is the tuition no. fee for the program? Okay, so um, yes, you can apply, but you do need to have your IELTS. Ar yeah, architecture. So yes, they can apply for game design. Um, I have, the fees are about um, 11,000 Canadian dollars per year, or sorry, per term. 11,000 Canadian dollars per term. Um, and you need a 6.5 IELTS overall, or sorry, 6.0 IELTS overall with no band under 5.5. And you can apply for the program with Duolingo However, you will need to apply for your IELTS anyway, or in, in order, you will need to get your IELTS anyway in order to apply for your visa. Right. I mean, I hope you uh, were able to listen to ma'am. You can apply, uh, but IELTS uh, is mandatory from the visa standpoint as well. So you need to keep that in mind. I mean, I, I can't see your contact details being shared. So if you can send your contact details to me as well, so that I can communicate with you later on. Aman Jodh, I would request you to please share your contact details with me. Okay, uh, so moving ahead, Joen, there's one student uh, who has been unable to speak via call, uh, uh, Jaksit Brad. Uh, my AIP okay. request is still under process. I have wine business management program in fall 2020. If my AIP will be approved, then what would be the last day to uh, start the online classes? Okay, so you should, okay, this is what I recommend that you do. You need to you need to start your online classes now. So please select your timetable and start your online classes because you only have up until September 15th to start your classes. However, um, you obviously wanna start your classes as soon as possible so you don't fall behind. So I recommend you select your timetable, start your program, and you have up until September 22nd to let us know whether or not you received your AIP. So if you have not received your AIP by September 22nd, um, you, can, you can defer your program. However, the one thing I will note is um, um, wine business management, it's only offered once a year, the program start. I'm gonna double check that while I, on my cheat sheet while I say that. Um, oh, it's on this list, sorry. I'm sure it is, but I'm gonna just double check before I, t I tell you that. Yeah, so it's only offered with a September start. So two things. So if you defer, you, ha you have up until September 22nd to defer. If you defer, the program does not start again till fall 2021. Um, and also, I'm not sure if you heard me say earlier on this call that we're changing the program from wine business management to uh, beverage business management. So that's to encompass not just wine, but also spirits and uh, beer. Um, so that's two things, but what you could look at doing is if you don't get your AIP by September 22nd, you can defer to a different program for January um, and you might want to look at hospitality and tourism management, which is, it's a different, it's a different field, obviously it's a different um, stream, but it's, it's a similar, at least you'd be working in, you could be working in the same industry because, you know, um, 
you could work in hospitality and tourism management, or you could study hospitality and tourism management and still be able to manage a winery. Um, so that's, that's what I would recommend for you. So please register, start your program. We hope you get your AIP by September 22nd, um, but you can defer if you need to. Okay, so Joanne, there's a student with the name of uh, Vivo1909. Okay. You, you can unmute and you can uh, speak to Joanne about your query. Then I can see one more student, uh, name not mentioned, it's 85008001750. That's what is visible on the name. So dear, you can unmute and you can uh, speak to Joanne if you have any question. I don't know what's your name, dear. I can just see a number on the screen, 85008001750. Hello, sir. I want to uh, ask uh, about the timetable question. Uh, I don't know how I can uh, check my timetable related to my study as well as I don't know which subjects uh, uh, I have to study. Okay, so which program are you in? I have applied for uh, hospitality and restaurant operations. Okay, so um, so for, for the student, I just posted a link um, in how to select your timetable. Um, but I've also given instructions to Pyramid eServices to the admissions team. Um, so if you're having a hard time, um, then uh, the admissions team at Pyramid um, can email me directly and I can help you um, select your timetable. I can, I can ask the registrar's office to select your timetable on your behalf. But I just posted a link um, that gives you instructions on how to, how to select your timetable. And also you should have received that information in your acceptance package. Ma'am, I, I also I am also unable to attend online classes and I have also missed the orientation because uh, I got my AIP on 7th September. That's why I don't know about it. Okay, so first, the first thing you need to do is select your timetable. So that's a good start. So again, I've put a link in. So select your timetable. If you can't select your timetable, then connect with Pyramid um, and they will um, let me know and then we can support you with that. And let's do that today. I mean, it's getting later for you than it is for me, but we can make sure that we get that done today. Um, and then once you select your timetable, um, then you become activated in our system and then you'll have your Blackboard. And through your Blackboard, you will be able to access all your courses um, and read all your course outlines. Um, if the orientation, as I mentioned earlier in the call, if your orientation was recorded, it'll be posted um, in your uh, program Blackboard page. So all the information you need to study will be in there. Um, it's typical that people start a couple days late. So don't worry about that, but let's just get you started as soon as possible. And the first step is, is selecting your timetable. Yes, ma'am. I have uh, uh, selected it uh, and I also uh, have uh, watched the Blackboard, but there is no link about subjects as well as timetable. So for every single course that you have in Blackboard, there's going to be a course outline. So please go log into each course or click on each course in your program and you need to review the course outline and there's going to be instructions and there's also announcements posted on Blackboard from your professor. So please read the announcements and that'll tell you what you need to do to study. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I think my best advice to you is just like go through your Blackboard, read everything that any professor has posted there. If you have any questions, please um, email any of the specific professors and they'll be able to help you. Okay, ma'am. Okay, good yeah, luck and welcome you. to Niagara Thank you so much for attending the session, dear. Okay, Joanne, I can see uh, two more names who are yet to communicate with you. I can see a student with the name of uh, Nandini Jagga and Navraj Man. Nandini, okay. if you have any question to ask, you can please communicate with Ms. Joanne. Sir, I want to apply for early childhood education course. Okay. And is January intake available? Yeah, so the program's already waitlisted for January. So. So you can apply, um, but you would be added to the wait list at this point. Okay. So another program that you might want to look at is educational assistant um, for a special needs support. And um, that's, that's a really great program. Um, if you study in that program, you can actually work for the school board, for one of the school boards working with a special needs student. So I'm not sure if you're interested in that, but you could look at educational assistant uh, special needs support if um, early child if you don't get into early childhood education. Nandini, can you hear us? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Do Do you have any uh, any further query to ask? 
No sir. All right. Thank you so much. So Joanne, uh, we are uh, like mostly done with the Q and A from the students. Uh, all the students who had queries uh, either registered or the fresh students all the students have communicated with you i can see one message from uh, one of my colleague uh, our branch head from uh, kochi uh, she has sent a message she is facing a bit of network issue so she sent a profile uh, student holds 6.5 not less than 6 as ielts plan score and holds a uh, 70% in super medical but her, the student mathematics score is less that is 48% So, would it be possible for the student to apply for computer programming uh, uh, course? Um, we're very. Um, the minimum requirement for the math um, is at least fifty percent. Okay. So, because the math is low, then we wouldn't be able to accept the student. Okay, but like there are. I completely understand, but only two marks are less. Can there be any special gesture for the student? No. Okay. Okay. We, so, uh, we have to because because then because if we if we do that then we don't really have the st- the standard right for across the board if we did that for one student then we do it for another student then we so that's kind of why we have to follow that policy. Yeah, I absolutely understand that, right? Uh, yeah, so and I, I mean I wish I could say yes, obviously. Right, right. All right. Thank you, thank you, Shubhana ji. Uh, so, Joanne, now I would open the platform for the staff members. So all the staff members of pyramid who are you know patiently part of the session since the beginning so if you have any question to ask you can please go ahead and you can ask your question okay uh, so i got a message from pooja ma'am she has a question to ask pooja ma'am please go ahead hi joyn how are you i'm good how are you pooja i'm great joyn uh, while i was attending the seminar there were few queries asked by the students related to deferment and then reversing it to online because of ai pe release so is it feasible right. till 22nd of september no so a student can only be added to a program before september 15th because okay. so that's 5 days into the program we don't okay. want a student starting a program 2 weeks late because that's not setting them up for academic success however so, the student can drop the program up until september 22nd which is 10 days into the program so the students who will receive ai pit till 14th or 15th they can go back with the decision but afterwards then they have to defer yes thanks a lot joey and and pooja just send me um if you could if you could um if you can summarize that in an email like if it's case by case I will can, but just if you want to yeah. send those cases to me then I I can get those action right away and we can get those students studying uh, admission department in pyramid services is contacting all students to register for timetables few students have been registered means most of the students have been registered but few are facing problems in selection of timetables to so black with login So, so what I have done is I am going to be sharing those students' email IDs and um, names with you, not to give you the exact name of Nigra, so that it can be sorted out. Yes. So Pooja, yes. If a student is having problems selecting their timetable, we can select it for them. Well, students should send if they send it today. If they send an email, I I did I think I put those instructions for you, but we can choose those timetables. But we need permission from the student. So um, maybe what we'll do is uh, I'm out of the office tomorrow. If I receive the email today, then what I can do is I can get the approval for the student. If it's tomorrow, then you'll need to email our international office. But why don't you, Pooja, and I? Why don't you and I talk offline? and we can uh yeah sure yeah, sure we, we will talk we will what's yes we'll, we'll figure out major issues so the time table only okay we'll we'll figure it out maybe you and i will connect if you want um i can i can connect with you after this yeah sure i will do the same okay likewise okay good right uh thanks thanks pooja ma'am uh so join i i have uh a couple of my uh, colleagues my 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 seniors from the sales team as well i can see you have already spoken to him though mr sunil who's our uh, uh, sales head i have mr suraj and then i also have uh, you know few of the branches in the session 
So, uh, anybody, any query that you have about uh, Niagara College, about any of your application, in, if in case your student did not attend the session, you can please go ahead, you can unmute and you can ask your question. Anybody with any question, any counsellor who is in the session, any any manager, if you want to ask, you uh, can go ahead. The platform is open. Okay. Uh, uh, Joanne, it seems that everything is sorted. Uh, I don't see that if there is any question in the chat section either. Uh, it 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 was a pretty uh, productive session, I believe. I I hope you feel the same. I do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank thanks. You. Thanks, Amandeep, for for hosting as usual. We, thank we've you. We've got thank a good you. system for these. We got a good system for these webinars and sessions. So um, I appreciate the uh, pyramid support. And I'm actually glad to see, you know, there's a few students uh, for the fall that we're helping out. So that's really important. And yeah. uh, I'll work with Pooja and uh, the um, admissions team to make sure we get everyone activated for this term. Um, right. But everybody, uh, thank you for joining the session and thank you to Pyramid for the support. And hopefully I get to see the students at Niagara College soon. Right. Sir. Thank you, love to you. Thank you, thank you Thanks so much, everybody. thank you so much. Pyramid, visa for a better life.